In this video, I'm going to show you all how you can find any rare items that you currently need that isn't being sold by Nook's Cranny. Keep in mind that this isn't going to work for Gulliver items or any items that you get from Sahara. This mainly only works for items that you are getting that is sold by Nook's Cranny. Now what I'm going to do is catalog these items from other players. Essentially what that means is I'm going to go to someone else's island who already has the items. I'm going to pocket them meaning that I'm going to put them in my inventory. And once I do that, I'm going to drop them. And by having the possession of those items in my inventory, it's actually going to let me be able to purchase them in my Nook Shopping app. Now, not everyone may have this Nook Shopping app. And if you don't, that's fine. All you need to do instead is just go to the little ATM kiosk or the Nook kiosk inside of your town hall. And once you're there, it's going to give you the same UI. You're going to go to where it says catalog contains furniture you have obtained. And any items that you may need to purchase later on, you can do so by just clicking into here and purchasing. Four, B, B, eight, one. We're on our way to this island to catalog some of the white instruments that they have so we can use them for our wedding area. We managed to find someone that wasn't asking for over 20 Nook Mile tickets. Luckily, I'm only going to be paying about five. I do wonder though how they're going to let me in because they can't remove a fence as I am out their island. So. Watching them do this will actually give me ideas on how I can do this later on to invite people to catalog our stuff. And they wanted five Nook Mile tickets, so I'll just go ahead and remove. Okay. Oh, okay, I guess they prepare it ahead of time. Do I have enough room in my inventory? Okay, I do. So here's the harp. So essentially what you do is you pick everything up and then you just drop it. And because I picked it up, it'll be available for purchase in my catalog. I do need the white chair, but I'll save that for later. Oh, we got a drum set. Awesome. Needed that. Let's see to confirm that it worked. So we're going to go into our Nook Shopping and we're going to go look at our catalog items. And I know a drum set was one of the things we cataloged. I didn't have any drum sets before. So if I did it right, it should show up. Actually, we can look at the cello. And right there, we have the white variant now, which is awesome because that'll look so much better with the aesthetic that we're going for. The drum set should be here as well. And it is. Okay, awesome. So it looks like everything that we cataloged did appear in our option of purchasing from Nook Shopping. Grand Piano, we have the white variant. Perfect. Again, we just don't have the white chair for that. Um, gonna have to do some digging for that one. But ideally, wouldn't be too hard to find. I think the piano is actually one of the harder things. Well, I sent a message to the person with the kimono stands and the screens. I don't know if they'll get back to me. So the person did respond and they're gonna let me go visit their island to kind of um, look at the screens. And I'll go ahead and show you that they're not currently available to me right now in my Nook shopping. Like I did mention before, this isn't going to work for any Gulliver items, Sahara items, or any DIY items. This is only going to work for items that are sold by Nook's Cranny. And this is really beneficial because sometimes those rare items don't rotate into your shop for a very long period of time. So this is an expedited way to get any items that you do need. It doesn't involve any time travel. It mainly involves needing to know people that you have within your community or the online community that are willing to let you visit their island and essentially the term is catalog those items. So what I'm going to be cataloging are kimono stands that I don't have yet if I go down here. I don't really know how many there are of the elaborate kimono stand but I do know that I only have one variant of it and in addition to that I only also have one screen so if I come down here. As of now I only have the dragon screen there is also a tiger, a bonsai, a bamboo, and a cherry blossom screen that I don't currently have access to. Now I can wait for Nook's Cranny to sell those items, but again, if you are in a rush or you're noticing that you don't tend to get a lot of rare items at your Nook shop, then this is again a great alternative to finding those rare items. 
and I'm going to put in the Dodo code. Now, if anyone is curious how I found this individual, I found him in the chat room of the Discord for cataloging items. So there is a chat room or server completely dedicated to people offering up their items to be cataloged, and that's how I found this individual. Now, the prices are going to range depending on the individual. Some people will ask for a lot. This individual, however, is only asking for three Nook Mile tickets. So for three Nook Mile tickets, I'm going to be able to catalog um, a total of 11 items. That's going to be six kimono stands and five screens. And I'll go ahead and show you what that process looks like. If it isn't already obvious, you're going to need internet connection. And depending on the person you're trading with, you're going to need the items that they're asking for. So sometimes you can offer up some of the items that you have that maybe they're looking for. So it's a catalog trading event that you can offer to do or maybe sometimes they're looking for just bells. Again, it just depends on every person. I went ahead and dropped the Nukma tickets for him and he'll probably come back and pick those up later. He went ahead and left the screens here. So I'll go ahead and pick them all up and I'll drop them down. And again, you're not gonna be taking these items back with you to your island. You're merely picking them up, putting them all in your inventory and then dropping them. Okay, so those were the five screens. And here are the six elaborate kimono stands. I already have one of them, but I was going to pick them all up because I can't really tell which one it is that I already have. And I'll go ahead and drop these as well. All right, so I went ahead and just picked them all up, dropped them. You can see that he took the Nook Mouth tickets. And I'll just go ahead and take my leave. Just want to make sure that, all right, I didn't take any of his stuff. Now we're back here at Azongong. If you don't have the Nook Shopping app, you can go to Resident Services and go to the little kiosk there. We're going to go ahead and go to this little symbol here that contains all the furniture that we've obtained. And if I come down here to the elaborate kimono stand, you can see here that now I have more than the one variant. So I now have all of the different kimono stands for elaborate kimono stands. I can also check to see if I got the screens if I go down here. And in addition to that, you can see now that I have access to all the different screens, not just the dragon one. What I can do is select it and then purchase it. Well, I don't have enough bells for that one, so actually. And just like that, we'll have the screen arrive in our mailbox tomorrow. Now, do keep in mind that these items that you're purchasing, you can only purchase a max of five per day. So again, just keep in mind that you can only purchase five per day. But essentially, that is what you need to do in order to get any rare items that you want that is sold by Nook's Cranny. So thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope it helped and was a quick guide in how to find any rare items that you need. For those of you that didn't know, you can actually trigger a secret song from KK Slider. And this is the only way to get that secret song. There's three of them. You have to select Give Me That One. He's going to ask you what it's called. And then there's three types. One's Animal City, another's Farewell, and then the last one is Drive-In. So I'm going to go ahead and request Animal City.